My area of focus is on controlling powered prosthetic arms and powered prosthetic legs. So making um, systems that are easy for people to use who have lost their limbs. How do we integrate motor control and sensory information in the brain to control these prostheses in an intuitive way? So we use a neural interface and typically what we try to do is measure biological signals usually from the muscle, electromyogram, and we use signal processing engineering approaches to decode what the person is trying to tell the prosthesis to do. And so there is a neural interface, you're not interfacing with the nerves directly or the brain directly, but you are figuring out what the person is thinking or trying to do by um, interpreting those signals. Muscle kind of acts to amplify nerve signals, and so we can measure them externally from the skin surface. And in that way, um, we can make a system that people can put on. It's chronic. The electrodes touch the skin. We can measure the signals through the skin. It's very non-invasive, uh, although it does have some limitations. And so we have trying to figure out the, the best way which muscles to read from, where we should place our electrodes, um, and in the case of legs, what other data sources do we have available? Can we use inertial sensors like are in your cell phone? Um, can we use load cells and combine them with these biological signals to get a, a better picture of of what the person is doing and how they're interacting with their environment. So those are the key questions that we ask. And then we're in a hospital, the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago embeds research and patient care. And so we'll do a lot of clinical trials as well. So we will measure people, send them home with their devices for six weeks, eight weeks, years are what we're aspiring to. And then we measure and see how they're using their device at home in, in their home environment.